Hey Sagittarius, let's see what's going on. If y'all haven't subscribed, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, boo. Okay, Sag. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius? Please and thank you. What is the overall energy for Sagittarius? That felt right though, y'all. That card. Clean it up. 21 breaking down to a three. Somebody needs to get in alignment. Okay, it says clean it up. So let's see. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah. Some of y'all have been dealing with a never-ending story. Now, y'all know this is energy. If it's not you, it's someone outside of you. But I'm specifically asking for Sagittarius, so let's just see. Somebody's been dealing with a never-ending story, okay? 37 breaking down to a 10. It needs to be over. This right here needs to just be done, okay? Child, let's see what's going on. What I'm waiting for. Okay, Spirit, what's going on here? What's going on for my Sagittarius? For the Sagittarius collective. Yeah. Somebody missed an opportunity here. Hmm. Now, bottom of the deck, eight of cups, five of wands, queen of cups, three of cups. Whoever this is you're dealing with, bring a lot of drama in your life. But you looked up to you look up to this person. But it's like they, I mean, that's all they do is bring drama. Yeah, seven of cups with the ten of cups, high priestess. Ten of Wands. You might have a family with this person or you thought this was going to be your end all be all spirit. So you need to protect yourself from this motherfucker right here. Child, let me get my other deck. Whoever this is you're dealing with is bringing drama in your life. That's why. They're a copycat version of what you spoke, who you're supposed to be with. You thought this was, I said, you thought this was your end all be all. So you keep putting in work. What did I just say? You thought this was your end all be all. You thought this was a relationship was magical and meant to be, but you got blackmail here. It's like somebody got you to work against the person. But these three of pentacles, they got you to work against the person that you was really supposed to be with. And I feel like you done found that out now that you're trying to walk away from the, the, this drama here. And somebody blackmailing you. So you can't even go towards the person you want to go to because you worked against them. Look how that moon looking at your ass. Like, bruh, I know what your ass did. I remember what you did last summer. So that could be relevant here. Something could have happened last summer. So now you got this motherfucker, you got the copycat blackmailing you. And you just keep dealing with it. Yeah, this person childish as fuck. You keep dealing with this black male energy. You need to leave this motherfucker alone. Yeah, you feel bound to this situation. I say no telling what the fuck you did with this childish ass person. You worked against the real one. Spirit says you need to purify your energy. Clean it up. You need to clean it up, boo. Yeah. Ooh, you losing money? Cash flow in the reverse? I said this in another reading. And the name of that reading was, I said, this person has, I said, this main female has an attachment. 414 on the phone. I said, this person is going to be a blockage to your money. That's what this is. You teamed up with the wrong one, boo. Could be a water sign. Which we do have a queen of cups here. You teamed up with the wrong one. Now your head don't know what to do. Yeah. Spirit said, leave that shit the fuck behind. Stand on what you did. Yeah, physical altercation with caution back there. And what? Blockages. And that's what I said. This person is a blockage to your mess. Why you losing money? Cash flow in the reverse. I hooked up with the wrong motherfucker. And see, Spirit say, the situation need more balance. And that black man still peeking through. 
Whatever it is that you said about the real person, come on out with it. I can't make it up. Come on out with it. They gonna come out anyway. Secrets gonna come out in the damn way. This could also be somebody who had you sleeping with other folks and caught that shit on camera. That shit been coming up a lot. You know, the person could have had you sleeping with another man. Okay, or something. I feel like it's just that you, yeah, look at you. Stubborn. This is the masculine card here. You stubborn and stuck in your way. So instead of your ass blocking communication from the motherfucker that caused drama in your life, you block communication from the person that you want to be with. And then you allowing this motherfucker to keep you bound and blackmail you. Draining all your damn money. Spirit say, uh-uh, child, you need to walk away from this. And stand on what you did. You was bold enough to do that shit. Talk about it. Hello? You ain't gonna get no sympathy over here, boo. Talk about it. You teamed up with the damn Queen of Cups and I got fucked up. Now you got leveling up and the phase will end soon. What's this right here? Yeah, you jump to conclusions about someone else's come up. You jump to conclusions about how somebody else made their damn money. Like, this shit here crazy, child. Hey, like I said, you hooked up with the wrong motherfucker. Now you coming to your fucking breaking point. Don't know what to do. Ain't shit to do but walk away from it. Leave it behind and stand on what you did. Be a man about yours. Gratitude came out here. Spirit say show more gratitude. Because it was a lot of shit. Look, look. That's why your ass scared. You did spare work with this childish motherfucker. Over the real deal. Stupid. Yeah, you did that. You don't want that to be known. They already know. That's why the moon looking at you like, bro, we already know what your ass was over there doing. With your stubborn ass. Being stubborn hurts who? Your ass being stubborn and stuck in your ways hurts who? Yourself. Crazy motherfucker. You the one missing opportunities. That linked up with that damn water sign right here. And then child. A childish motherfucker. Yeah. Spirit say you just need to purify. But see, what I'm getting with this is this is who y'all did the fucking magic over. Ooh, child. That's possibly why you're losing your damn money. You cannot do magic, <laughs> baby. You cannot do magic over chosen individuals. You will curse your fucking life. You done cursed your life. That's why you come to your breaking point. You did magic over somebody who was trying to help you. Maybe you thought that person was fake, but then you ended up going over there to the fake-ass grass. Child, make that shit make sense. Yeah, look at you. Black-ass magic. Black-ass magic. And that's why you keep letting this person take your damn money. Because you don't want the real deal to know that your ass got up here with this motherfucking childish motherfucker here. Start casting spells and doing dark magic over this person. You need to ask yourself, <laughs> baby. You as the masculine, you need to ask yourself, what in the fuck got into you to make you have to resort to this? I'll wait. What made you do that shit? You a whole man out here. Supposed to be. Where your balls at? Now you're running scared and allowing this motherfucker to take all your damn money. Because you, you scared to tell this person that you, you, you jump to conclusions without having all of the fucking information. That's where you first fucked up. Your first fuck up was allowing this person to give you information about someone else. When you could have just simply been a man and wouldn't ask that person what it was that you wanted to fucking know. See, your ass was childish, which is why you called in somebody who was childish. So both y'all motherfuckers could be going broke. Okay? Because whoever it was you did motherfucking magic on, that person done grew. Everything, look, they desires is within reach, baby. They leveling up. They was... Purifying their energy and being protected by spirit while y'all dumb motherfuckers out here doing this stupid shit. Okay? Tarot card reader. It could have been a reader. You could have been doing spell work over a reader, but now your ass coming to your fucking breaking point with your crazy ass. You ain't hurt nobody but yourself. And you still sitting in it feeling bound to it. This bound card, that, that ain't nothing but your spell work coming back on your ass. That's it. Chain by choke fuck out your ass. What else, spirit? Yeah. See, the situation need more balance. 
Now you're starting to see things from a high. You see it, but you don't want it to be known that you did it. Whoever this person is was first, one, they were not affected by it, and two, they already know. They already know, child. You ain't hiding nothing. You let a damn karmic. Yeah, they already know. So you could be stuck watching readings, trying to figure out if this person knows this information. They already fucking know, especially if they are a reader. Excuse me. If this person is a reader, and that was the real energy that you were supposed to be with, and you teamed up with this old dark motherfucker, started jumping to conclusions about this tarot card reader. Baby. They already know. Crazy. Like I said, who's being affected here? You feeling bound, coming to your breaking point, dealing with old childish motherfucker who breaking fuck out your ass. All because you jumped to conclusions without having all of the information, which makes you an ass. That's what happens when you assume shit. You make an ass out yourself. You ain't this childish motherfucker right here. What's up, baby? What's up to you? Spirit telling you, clean your energy up. If you want to move, you ain't even got to want to go towards this person, the real deal now. But even if you want to get off your ass and move forward, you have to clean up your energy. And part of you cleaning up your energy is coming out with the fact that you did spell word and dark magic over this person. Hello? Over your meant to be. You started, you let this damn, ooh, child, you pissing me off. You let the queen of cups make you project over your fucking life purpose this look <laughs> your life purpose you're meant to be ass person you let this damn water sign project their childish bullshit the fact that they do spell work and they do dark magic you let this motherfucker project that shit over the real person what so you jump into conclusions about how this person was manifesting a new life it never occurred to you that this person was doing the work nah you listen to this. And you teamed up with this childish motherfucker. Oh, the only reason they're leveling up is because they're doing black magic. And, and they're doing magic over us. What? A lot of these... the A lot of these people that you were supposed to be with didn't even know that your dumb ass had went over here to this childish motherfucker. And here's the thing, child. It seems as if this childish person was obsessed with your real deal. But your ass was too stubborn to see it. You need to start listening to the intent behind the words. Your ass is supposed to be having a brand new beginning with that person, but instead you feeling bound and you allowing this person to blackmail you for no reason. Cause everybody know the secret. Look how the moon looking at you, child. Like, bruh, I don't know why you keep getting your money to that damn water sign. Everybody know what your head was doing. Everybody know what your head was doing. Stupid. They literally work with us. Sagittarius, this motherfucker work with old copycat motherfucker. Somebody who do everything you do. And they was just convinced that they were with the real deal. Baby, if you with the real deal, okay, where your brain at, boo? Where your brain? Because if you with the real deal, you ain't going to never have to do no spell work. The real deal is not going to take you to hell. Because doing black magic, you conjuring up demons. So that should have been your sign right then and there. This person got me doing dark magic. Maybe I'm with the wrong one. No, because you was childish and stupid. I don't know what the hell was wrong with you. Okay, now you come to your breaking point. All in your emotions, acting like old crybaby because everything in your life is changing. Your ass is getting fired and getting kicked out your house. What you thought was going to happen? You're sitting here doing magic over someone who's too protected. Hello? This person's too protected, baby. This is Empress energy. You're doing magic over someone who's chosen. Of course it's going to backfire, which is why your ass is feeling down. You're losing your job. You're losing your home. You and this person losing every damn thing. And all you wish to do is to leave it behind. But you don't want people to find out that you was doing bitch-made shit behind closed doors. You had a whole man doing spell work with a fucking karmic. That's what you don't want people to know. Well, I tell it every day. Huh? Not on this channel, child. Check out my um Spiritual Sage channel. I reveal y'all motherfuckers every day. Show sure do. Because you was warned to proceed with caution. Not to cross them tracks. Not to cross this person who had done shit to you. You got somebody who was obsessed with your person. 
and you fell for it. You fell for it. The relationship, whatever this person is sitting here manifesting, you're supposed to be right there with them. You're supposed to be right there. You got catfish. You got catfish. Now your ass getting evicted, losing your job, losing your money, everything. Y'all, it's all in reverse. Large lump sum of money, cash flow in the reverse. Getting kicked out, losing the job. But they doing magic over you. Child, this person needs their air. Well, yeah, they need to go and self-reflect. Could be a Virgo. Take a moment to look at yourself. What in the fuck got you acting like that? That's what you need to be concerned with. What in the hell made me in all of life, in all of life, what in the hell made me feel like I ever had to do this right here? Oh, because this childish motherfucker who's really obsessed with that person. You couldn't tell? All they ever did was talk about that person and told you, oh, the reason we're having life so hard is because that person's doing magic. And then y'all go and do magic. It makes no sense. And so, you, you know, your ass being stubborn. You don't know what the fuck you're doing, which is why your ass is losing everything. Job, getting evicted, ain't got no damn money. You basically did magic on yourself, boo. Is that not what the cards say? Your ass feeling bound to the current situation. Like I said, you was blindfolded here. You basically did magic over yourself. And then you allow this person to blackmail you when nobody's suffering but you. So again, Spirit said, clean that shit up, child. Leave that shit behind and come on out with it. Because what you think you're hiding, you're not. You're not. And that's the damn truth. I know my damn masculine was doing fucking. Child, I told y'all last summer, I seen that fucking car driving by my house. They text me and ask me. He texts me from his number. But it was him and her asking me where I live. And then they came by my house and started doing magic. And I was like, this is an old bitch made ass nigga. For real. That's exactly what I said. Because that's exactly what it was. Because any issue that he had with me, he could have came to me. But he didn't. Because he was childish as fuck. So, yeah. Placed under some fucking illusions. So, it's like she was doing magic over his fucking pee of a brain. Okay? Making him do all kind of dumb ass shit. He, like, completely just didn't have no integrity. It's not the same person that I met. Same person that I met when it done no shit like that. Like, my masculine completely lost itself dealing with that carny. Lost itself. Now, you need to go find yourself. You need to go find yourself, boo. And like I said, what you think you're hiding, you're not. And she changed on your ass, didn't it? Then you kept getting mad because the person that you wanted to fall and you was doing so much magic to make them fall would never fall. That should have been another reason for you to stop and think, well, hold on, wait a minute. I keep sending all this shit to this person. Nothing's happening. In fact, 1818 on the phone, they're getting better and better. It's so easy for people to project. Tell me why this is the last step people try to take to go within themselves and be accountable, do the healing work. It'd be the last step, child. They'd be done ran their life through hell and back. It's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. No, it's your fault, bro. You was the one sitting there doing black magic with a fucking karma. It's your fault. Okay, over like I said, someone who, <clears throat> there you go, Sage. You was busy doing the work, cleansing yourself. You see how your feet in that water? That was that purify card. You was too pure. You see on that purify card, she had on a white dress, another white dress. You was too pure for the bullshit that, that person was doing. For some of y'all, it really could be a Virgo. This motherfucker need that wool. Yeah. They need the ass whoop, y'all, for real. They getting it. They getting a spiritual ass whooping. How you gonna team up with a queen of swords to do magic over an empress? You done lost your fucking mind, bruh. That's why you coming to your breaking point. Losing everything. And every time you look up at that empress, she shine. Because y'all ain't had no business doing what y'all was doing. Most of these empresses have children. Y'all deserve what you're going through. Yeah, everything. Closing out. Everything. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Leo or the Aquarius or Taurus or a fucking Scorpio. If y'all dealing with them signs, they losing every fucking thing. 
at their own doing. They're like, look, y'all, this is what be killing me. They're doing the magic. And it's not working because you're too protected. And so they're convinced that you're doing magic on them because they're losing everything. No fool. I don't understand people get ready to do magic, but they don't just read a little bit more on what happens if that shit does not hit the intended target. What happens? It don't just fucking dissipate. It's got to go back. Now, Spirit said, clean up your damn energy. You as an earth angel, believe it or not, you're an earth angel. You allow the karmic to get you off your path and pull your head down to karmicville. And then you're going to try to go after your better half and do the same thing. You sound foolish. Look at you, your wings. Look at your wings, man. Like I said, this never ending story. You need to leave this shit alone and clean it up. You need to get in alignment for your soul's assignment. Because I promise you, what you was doing with that dark magic, that's not what you was put here for. And anytime, people need to start asking themselves, if you being with somebody, the only way you can continue to be with that person is if y'all team up and do magic on someone else, y'all the problem. You guys are the problem. Like I said, people are so quick to project. The last thing they want to do is go within and say, well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have did that. Somebody's at their breaking point, losing their fucking mind and losing everything that they thought they were creating. It's sad. And that protected person is still flourishing. As they should. They was too busy balancing out their energies. Not bothering anyone. And they think they hide something. You ain't hide shit. The most high God. Here's another thing. Where do you think God was when you was doing this dark magic? That's just what I want to know. Fuck everything else that came in the reading. Where do you think the most high God was? The creator. If you believe in God, some of y'all don't dealing with this shit right here, or at least you hooked up with somebody who don't believe in God. Where do you, 22, 22 on the phone, where do you think the creator was when you was doing that? Hmm? You thought you were justified in your actions? You really thought the Most High God was going to tell you to go and do dark magic over an empress? You know what I'm saying? Somebody ain't got no brain of their own. And they really need help. They really do.